Welcome back, everybody. Grand Tactician of the Civil War. I'm Grumpy Grandpa Gaming, and this is episode 32 of our Confederate Summer 62 campaign in version 1.11 using the AOM mod. Once again, as you can see, we are straight up loaded into a battle map already, and uh, this is the Battle of 10th Louisville. And we are fighting Morgan's Command. Uh, for some reason, in last episode, they did not join in the Battle of 9th Louisville, even though they were well within reinforcement range. They just never appeared as a unit showing up for that battle. And they decided to come in and fight us after the battle. So uh, here we are. They're coming at us with about 7,500 men. So this is not going to be a long fight. Yeah, it's showing an aggregate of 7,500 men. So this fight's not going to take too long. The longest part's going to be waiting for them to come to us. as That's a whole lot of marching. I'm just, just going to wait for them to show up. So I got Jackson's division with his artillery looking down the uh, hoedown road. I got Lee's division covering this track here in case they decide to come around this way. And Cable and Stewart's division sitting in reserve. As they're coming in this way, they probably come straight down the hoedown road. They may use the Mason Hill Road. That's a long way around. So let's just set cable out that way too, just in case. But each one of these divisions can uh, fight the Federals on their own for the most part. And it is still actually under command of Morgan, I believe. Let me see here. Yeah, I'm actually surprised he's still in charge of that command. To be honest, he's been, he's been beat a few times. So I got my troops set up. I'm not even going to bother with entrenchments because that might just force the AI to do something weird so I'm just gonna sit here wait for them and uh, kick them in the teeth when they show up I'll be back alrighty it's 927 in the morning and uh, as you can see uh, Anderson from uh, who's in command of Reynolds Brigade which I gotta change the name of so uh, still wounded as we actually didn't have the chance to uh, switch commanders before this action started but uh, Federals are in range so, we're Reynolds Brigade with their sharps out along the fence line here as they're coming straight down the road. And I've given orders for Stewart's division to start moving into the woods behind them. So I can put the cavalry in their rear, which would force them off a little bit faster. There we go, finally moving. Thought about sending uh, Lee's division, but uh, the cavalry get there faster and they have a higher morale effect once they're in the rear. This fight's not going to look at the pile of blue guns there already from laying there. This is not going to last long. So, uh, Smith's artillery is not doing well since they were handled at that last fight. And they're actually down to seven guns from 11. There's one brigade. I think uh, this brigade's pissed off at Anderson's wound and they are doing some heavy damage. Artillery's getting ready to break already. Man, these guys are doing some... Look at that pile of bodies. These guys are just laying into them. A lot of very small under strength brigades or my strength report is completely wrong. That's yeah, so shown as accurate since we have siding on them now. Taking out 650 of their men already. Good supporting this is artillery. This is not going to stand up to much fire. He's got a lot of understrength brigades. Yeah, 800 men. This is a remnant of another corps that they slapped together since they had emptied Morgan's command out earlier in the campaign.
No, we do not need these losses in Smith's artillery. I may have to send them back to the reserve once the uh, battle's are over so you can go home and refit. Uh, I did have a comment to say after the uh, last episode that I need more artillery in this army, and that is true. There is going to be more artillery going to this army. The whole thing is I prioritized all of the artillery and training to the Army of the North, so I would have that full-strength army up there. So uh, going forward, any more artillery batteries will actually end up here in this core and the other core that do not have enough artillery. Starting with this core because they only have the one battery. This isn't a fight. This is a damn massacre. I don't know why the AI decided to do this. Looks like they are withdrawn. Where is Lee's cavalry? Uh, cal Stewart's cavalry. Still not in position yet. What the hell? What the hell is going on there? No, oh, don't do that. Is making no sense. There they go. Let's see if we can't get the cavalry in there. Highly doubt it. Let me do some more damage to this command. catch that artillery or maybe we will let's see this one brigade's basically getting away unscathed come on get in there get those guns for me It's not going to get there in time. There we go. We got the guns. Let's just speed this along now. All right. Nice, short, simple, and straightforward. So uh, we took down 1,500 of Morgan's 7,000 infantry. Got all 15 of his guns. So numbers a little off here. So 1,500 or 7,500 men. So it doesn't has a hard time counting artillery, but for some reason, uh, we lost 54 of our infantry. Two of our guns from that uh, one volley the artillery took for a total loss of 85 or 19,789 men. Yep. Well, but now let's save this real fast and uh, check out the paperwork. Alright, Stewart's division didn't fight. Nobody fought except for Jackson's division. So Reynolds' brigade with these Sharps rifles. Did, and that short little action did 646 casualties to their infantry. Uh, Ledbetter's brigade did 252. Stevenson's brigade did 149 to infantry. 22 to artillery total 171. And Smith's artillery did 465 to infantry and 16 to artillery total 481. Even for being under strength and broken morale, they did a very, very handy job. So this division did all the casualties at 1,550 men. All right, let's get closed out of here. 
the book. I don't have much to say about this fight. I don't think anybody really would other than why the hell did they even attack. So I'm not going to monologue this one out. I will see you all at the newspaper screen. All right, victory at 10th Louisville. Uh, one thing I did forget to check on the paperwork to see if we got any other officers. Uh, doesn't show any dead. Oh, we might have wounded a few, but doesn't really matter in that small fight. So the enemies reportedly suffered total casualties of 1,518 men. There are 436 killed and 291 captured. Our casualties total 85 men with 20 killed and 8 missing. We've captured 693 rifles and 5 guns from the battlefield and sent 297 soldiers down to prison camps. And we have defamed Morgan, so he should no longer be in command of that unit. So it's actually now March 15th, so I'm really hoping we can get through to April 1st without another action happening, as I do want to start the spring offensive in the New England states this episode. That is my hope, at least. So uh, all the forces are transferred in or are still on their way, but they, for the most part, everybody should be here. Nope, still transferring in. Okay. 16 days for the rest of his forces to arrive. That's the artillery division, the rest of the infantry, and the engineers. So we would be able to kick this fight off on, or kick moving south off on April, on, uh, April 2nd, as everybody will be there at that point. So we can kick it off with Hughie's command. So I really want to lead it off with uh, no, we'll send Hughie down to Augusta and 2nd Corps AON down to Portland, hopefully into a blocking position as we take down the fortifications over here at uh, Fort Popham and Fort Scammell and secure the bank in Portland. And one viewer asked me to look at building a bank since I do have that unlocked since the last episode. I don't think I was supposed to be able to unlock that. That might have been a glitch. Uh, prior to the way things are handled with AOM mod, though I did take it. So uh, let's see how much a bank costs. It costs four million to construct. What exactly do they give us? Okay, so national banks increase the available capital in the region, increasing private wealth and lowering construction costs of companies. Furthermore, national funding becomes cheaper as war loans become available for the broad public. So this does make cutting bonds actually cheaper. So what we're going to do is I'm thinking we build one at Knoxville. Because we do have, there it is. No, that's a coal mine. There's an, where is that iron? There it is. I think we build one here at Knoxville because we do have an iron mine and a coal mine in the area along with an ironworks. Actually, we can empty this depot out. Thought I got them all. So, yeah, I think we're going to build one right there. Right at Knoxville. Put it right there. Three million instead of four million because of where it's built. Okay. So, we'll see how much that affects the area. Maybe that will help with the... Uh, functioning of the iron mine and the iron works and possibly make it cheaper to upgrade them actually you no know, let's take a look at that so the iron mine should mean it would cost 4.1 million funding in industry Let me write that down Alright, so once that bank is complete, we'll see how much that costs afterwards, as it's supposed to reduce the cost of, this, of these things. So, we'll see. 
All right, there's nothing else going on for now. We're just either, we're just waiting for the spring to start on April 1st and my offensive to kick off on April 2nd. So hopefully the union does nothing else for the rest of the month, though that's probably a pipe dream. So I really want to get the offensive kicked off this month and this episode might be next one. We'll see. 15 days in this game is a long time. That could be five, six, seven episodes on its own. So I'll be back. Yep, it was too much to hope to make it to April. So it's uh, now March 19th, and the, the Federals are just coming out of winter quarters early for some reason. And the Army of the Border, with its, with its commander in tow, surprisingly, but then again, uh, you got Washburn in charge of them. He's actually very good at doing that. Uh, they decided to come down and engage Forest Corps, and I was actually going to go up hunting them. So this works out for me. This will draw out Forest Corps from Winter Quarters since they're already starting to fight. And if they retreat further north into the state, I'll be able to chase them down. But that's only if we win this fight. I'm assuming something that might be a little hard. Uh, they're coming at us with 20,304 infantry and 75 guns to my 19,788 cavalry and 12 guns. So, it may not be a fight we can win. Then again, they had an artillery advantage last and infantry advantage last time it was a close run thing but we still beat them we might be able to do it again so we're at least going to get on the map and take a look at what we're dealing with here so i'll see you all on the other side of the load screen welcome to second rolla so we're on the fulton's gap map which i do tend to like but with an entire cavalry force this is not that great of a map to fight on uh, the Federals do have the one entry location right over here on 12 Post Road. And it's just, we do, we're on the south side of the river, but there's just too many crossing locations for us to actually cover. Way too many. And if I had nothing but infantry, I'd be uh, a little better off, to be honest. So we are defending back here at Sudbury Turnpike, and there's just a lot of open ground. And I don't need open ground, as he's got only four brigades actually have decent weapons at this point. That's all the cavalry weapons I have, as we've just not captured enough or produced enough. And these are still full-size full brigades, it's something if they were even a little bit under strength. And these guys didn't fill up with the uh, draftees either. Because these, these units were all basically still full strength from the previous fights. So it's just been hard getting weapons. I would like to defend the crossing points, but there are just too many to cover. Just way too many. Could separate the divisions out. But I don't want to do that either because that'll just leave me trying to command brigades separated from the commanders. Hmm. You know they're gonna come down here through town. That's a given. Then they come across here, cross here, cross here, cross here, or cross down here. So they could cover these crossing points here. The thing is, though, the Federals would have a shorter distance to cover than I would trying to get down to these southern points. Even with me having cavalry and being able to move faster, I'd have a hard time getting them down along the roads. And there's really no place for me to mass my artillery. I, I would need to know where to mass my artillery. Even though it's horse artillery, it's still slower. Yep, yeah, alright, I know I'm going to get ripped apart for this one, but I'm going to send one division up here, cover these three crossing points. One division split between these two crossing points. And this is possibly a crossing point here. I don't know if anybody could see this brown spot in the river here. 
which caught my attention, but you could still see grass under the water right there. I don't know if you can see it on your TV, but there's a pile of grass right there. I think it might just be an issue from when they drew the map, but that could possibly be a crossing location also. Even though it's not marked as a Ford, it could be an unmarked Ford. Which is, you know, a distinct possibility. Yeah, I'm going to mass two of my divisions up here. Leave one down here to cover Kings Ford and Black Lick Creek Ford. And if they bypass these troops up here, I can always move them south to come support this cavalry. They'll be able to hold out long enough for reinforcement to arrive. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Hopefully I get them up here in time to block these crossings before they show up. Because I'm not exactly sure where the AI will be deployed on this map. So. I'm going to... Uh, well, Lee's division or Evans. I think Evans has the best weapons. Who's he got? Yeah, Evans has got all the best weapons. He's got three brigades of Richmond Carbines. Wheeler's got one brigade with Springfield Musketoons. So we'll send Evans to cover this point up here. Everybody else down around here. We'll leave Lee's division down here. And the artillery, I got to figure out where it is. I should probably send the artillery up here also. So they're not going to be very, they're not going to be any use to me down here. Now yeah, they could. Up here, the map looks more forested than it really is. I think for now, I send them up this way, where I can set them up behind the crossing points to cover it. So that's what we'll do. All right, I'm going to hit play here. We'll get these troops moving, and I will be back once we figure out what the Federals are doing. All right, it's 10 a.m. I do have a sounding on the Federals. For some reason, they started clumped up back here in the woods. So uh, this works to my advantage. They now got to clear the woods. It looks like they might be marching the length of the woods. To get out to the roads. So it's given me plenty of time to get my troops in place. Uh, one thing that is annoying me though. Is with the cavalry. I don't know if it's a glitch or not. Sometimes it lets you build fighting positions with your cavalry. And sometimes it won't. Like you can see here it's grayed out. Even though they're dismounted. So some battles you can build breastworks and other battles you can't and this kind of this is one of those battles where you really want breastworks but it's just not let me build them so i'd actually sent one brigade back to start constructing some back here at the sudbury turnpike just in case we had to fall back onto it but uh i'm not gonna be able to do that now so they're just wasted back here get them mounted back up into an area where you can support better I'm using these loose formations. It's a great formation, but it does spread these brigades out quite a bit. What's with that? Is that a glitch? I hope not. So I did send the entirety of Evan's division up to this one crossing point. I think that's the one that they really want. I think this brigade might be glitching out. That's not good. And these guys are the best armed. So they're going to cover here for now. And I have the artillery division on the way to support it. We 
Leave this brigade in reserve for now. Where is the artillery? Of course, they're tripping all over themselves. Always the case with the artillery. I generally, I'm starting to really blame the uh, division commanders for this because sometimes the artillery divisions march very well and other times they do this crap where they're trying to march through each other and see if you can get there first. So we still got some time for it to show up, probably another few hours here. As you can see the dust trail right there heading up towards the road and over these hills. It's, I don't think these brigades are going to be any fighting condition by the time they get to us. It shows us as a minor defeat. Because we are actually in federal control territory still, but uh, there is no way the morale is going to hold up going through all that. They're going to fragment and the morale is going to drop. So, just an update there. I'll be back. Alright, it's 11.15. We have the first federal brigade spotted and they are marching along the river here through the woods. Mm -hmm. so we got more brigades and batteries marching up out this way towards the road so this is giving us a good chance to take them down in detail if they rush into the attack that's what i'm hoping they do still waiting for my artillery to come up oh good they got the halt orders these guys are just they're now disrupted they've been marching all over each other for no reason whatsoever so i'm going to be ordering them up individually as they, they they just stay locked into each other. It is annoying as hell. They should have been here about an hour ago. As the batteries some, sometimes move faster than the cavalry brigades. And if you can hear some moaning in my background, that's uh, my pity. She's chasing something in her dreams. And uh, doesn't sound like she's having an easy time of catching it. Yeah, well, come on, get moving. There we go. I blame the division commander for this mess. This should not be happening. And you'll see, you'll see it in the infantry organizations too. Though it's not as bad. It's uh, I, I really do think it comes down to the uh, commanders. Anyway, I want to hold you here for this. I will be back once the uh, fighting starts. All right, it's 12.25, and the uh, 1st Federal Brigade is now starting to approach the Ford. Finally did get my artillery up and in position. Once I halted the division or each of these batteries separately, you could have sworn they had rockets attached to all these horses because they just flew up here. But, uh... I didn't think I was going to have good positioning on them, but as soon as uh, this brigade hit about this point, all batteries started firing on them. So as soon as the artillery gets to that location, I'm going to start them on the counter battery fire. I'm more worried about the amount of artillery they have than anything else. But yeah, all these troops are going to be disrupted as hell by the time they get to us. It looks like they're going to be sending them. If they keep coming, they're sending them across individually. Looks like they're rerouting these troops down to this ford. Though there are troops up on this road here. So I'm going to pull in. Which is uh, Lee's division. And move them across the river and hopefully into a flanking position. Yeah, it sounds like things are getting a little loud, so uh, you hear a bark, and I do apologize for that. So, yeah, I'm going to start bringing Lee's division up out this way. If they start attacking here, I should be able to move Lee's division and Wheeler's division in behind them and hopefully trap them against the river over here. Problem is, I don't know how many forces they have out this way. You can see the dust trails up on this road. You got more forces down here. And it looks like that uh, infantry brigade's gone on the ground since I looked away. There it is. Oh, 
Hopefully we do some... Hopefully we can hold the crossing with the three brigades I have here while the rest move into position. It's going to take a while for these divisions to get into location. not close enough to use canister so I'd rather have them on counter battery to take down their artillery as it comes up. If anybody's wondering what today's battle brew is, it is uh, Highland Park 18. Doing as much damage to that brigade as I thought we would. And again, they are kind of in that low ground in front of us, which makes it harder to hit. Looks like they might be glitching a little bit. But if the barrels keep tagging like that, that'll just make this day much, much easier. And don't tell me that battery setting up right there. I hope not. Still waiting on his orders. All right. Yep, that battery set up right there. Oish. If you count the battery orders, fire at them. I know you can hit over there. They actually pushed this gun down to here, they would actually have me in canister range. Oh, there we go, start to fire that way, good. I don't know if anybody saw that cannonball go across. Dude, any damage to that? Yeah, we are. Not much, but we're doing it. Hopefully these guys can get a level up out of this. Loose Order is a very powerful tool. If I can get it leveled up. Like this, I should have the first CSA mounted ranges up there because so they already have one level of it, but. Because it increases their accuracy a load. 7.5% 7, buff to accuracy while finding a Loose Order, that is huge. It looks like everybody's coming down this way. They are narrowing in on this fight. Just I thought it was our formation up there. I don't know if they keep firing like this. We might have run an ammunition pretty fast. But I'm hoping we do a lot of damage to this course. We still have to chase it out of Missouri. Wait. No, there is a formation up there. I thought so. But they are coming down to this crossing point also. Alright. That means we should get the other two divisions in place to lock them against the river. Once they have their orders. Still waiting for them. Lee's got his. Okay, so his boys are on the move. Only 17 losses so far. It 
This is worrisome right here, having old sergeant. This is what's causing the damage. Marshall is not really in a good spot to hit it. Well, he's firing at them at least. But he's starting to take some counter battery fire. Who are you firing at? He's firing at the artillery also, that's good. And he just can't see them. What if we bring him over to here? Maybe he can get some shots across at their artillery. We'll see. If not, he's still in good support in the arc of the Ford. It looks like this attack is petered out, so I'll pause this here and I'll bring it back in when their next start when their uh, next assault starts. Alright, so I ordered the USH flying battery over to this flank and it was a bad idea. They got ripped apart on the way. They lost three of their guns and half of their men. So uh, I've ordered them to limber up and uh, withdraw slightly rearwards. Hopefully I can get them back into the fight at some point. But this massive artillery here is going to be an issue. Yep. Andrews is losing men. The artillery division is not doing so hot. And there's nothing I can really do about it. They just got too much artillery to fight back against. Yes, I do have uh, Wheeler's Division now's orders to move up in this direction, so I can start sweeping down into here, and hopefully into the rear of these forces. Uh, Lee's Division is still on the way, but they have the longest distance to travel. And why would they have brigades going through the woods? One brigade's going around on the road, the other's going through the woods. Uh, the pathfinding sometimes. Boys, stand back. Oh, I didn't want to take you out of loose order. I just wanted you to stand up. Uh, That's my fault. Loose order. All right. Number those sage is broken. They just got too much artillery for me to fight back against with my guns. So far, Gilmore's battalion is still fine. Eight losses, but uh, they're somewhat out of the way. That is just a lot of artillery. Then again, this is what I generally, this is what they generally have to face when fighting me, but all the artillery that's been missing from all the other armies that the Federals have is all massed up in this force. And they broke two. I think I'm probably going to have to send all my uh, horse artillery home to refit. Alright, Wheeler's almost in position. Um, some of their batteries are getting ready for it too. But we did have some effect. First CSA, we can't leave you out of the fight. Let's bring you over here. Yeah, they might force me out just with a sheer massive push over here if I don't get these guys in a position to attack soon.
we are doing a lot of damage. We moved back to a minor defeat. We did have a minor victory. That's only because they broke my batteries. We got them out 1,300 casualties so far. So they're just trying to push everybody across right here. Alright, Lee, where are you? Ugh, forgot. Two brigades going through the damn woods. I doubt he'd even be in a condition to fight once he gets over here. Well, we effectively got him trapped in the fort right now. It looks like this brigade's glitching out. That one's getting ready to go. These brigades haven't taken too much in the way of losses. And they got a lot of orders going now. It's getting a little laggy. Whenever it lags out, they have a lot of orders going out. That's probably because they just noticed these brigades showing up. And all my artillery is now broken. Alright. No new officers are gone, but uh, one or two of those uh, battery commanders might get defamed. Now we have them trapped right here, except for this artillery. That's going to be an issue. All those masked guns are going to be a bastard to clear out. likes what I'm about to do. But it did something stupid and I am going to take advantage of that. Bring your cavalry brigade out this way. They're all just stuck down in there. And there goes the waterfall effect. They are all going to start breaking here any second. I know we didn't have good showing with the Cavalry Corps at the start of this campaign, but uh, now they had all winter to sit, rest, and train. They are doing an excellent job of it. that brigade. Don't let them fall back. I right, you guys up a little bit closer than that. There we go, get some shots in there. Just kind of 
Alright, move out that way. I don't know why you're trying to pathfind in that direction. Need him coming back here to start hitting this artillery. That's it, this army's broken. Now it should be an easy thing to pursue and get them out of Missouri. Treating. Let's see how much more damage we can do. Now we're going to get to the numbers needed. Now we got him at 12%. Need him at 22, so we're not going to get that. Ooh, get me those sharpshooters. I want more sharps. Almost have enough for another brigade of Sharps rifles. Almost. Take down this brigade. That'll be a big grab on the weapons. Oh, he did level up. There we go. I think this is it, mounted rifles. Take down some of this artillery. Oh, these broken units are distracting them again. It's all these damn broken units always distracting. Get the hell in there and shoot them. Ah, oh, we're out of time. Oh well. All right. So uh, we took down 2,900 of their 21,000 infantry. We got 15 of their 80 guns. Patrol loss of 3,000 or 22,000 men. Uh, we lost 249 of our cavalry. All 18 of our guns because all three batteries broke. So, but that's, I mean, I was trying to fight off 70, 75, 80 guns with 18. So, it's... Once again, all the artillery that's been missing from every federal corps is in this one corps. Alright, let's take a look at the battlefield. See how everybody did. Lee's division did not get in the fight. Evans division. Gasconade Guard did 1,169 infantry, captured 15, 15 artillery, for total 1,200. Second CSA Mounted Rangers did 1,325 to infantry. First CSA Mounted Rangers, which only kind of got in at the end there, did uh, 59 to infantry. Division total 2,584. Wheeler's Division, uh, Russ County Raiders, because they're trying to pathfind through the woods, never really got in. They only got 18 to infantry. Quantrill's Raiders did 73 to infantry, 10 to artillery for 83, and the Reichland Raiders did 121 to infantry. 
Division, total 222. And Stewart's Division, which is the artillery. Wow, Sage Flying Battery did no damage. That can't be right. Because they were firing for most of the battle. They just took all that casualties when I tried shifting the battery to a better support position. They should have had something. Uh, Andrew's Battalion did 35 to Infantry, 24 to Artillery, total of 59. And Gilmore's Battalion did 26 to Infantry, 93 to Artillery, total of 119. Division total of 178. So I don't expect all those batteries are 3-inch Ordnance Rifles. And because they're Horse Artillery, they are smaller. They're generally 6 guns each, 6 to 7 guns each. So I don't expect much out of them. Oh. Did we get any of their officers? Doesn't look like it. Uh, got battery commander wounded. And that's it. One battery commander wounded. Let's get closed out of here. Oh, well, not much to say about that fight. I was kind of expecting... When the AI saw me covering that one crossing point, we've seen this in previous battles. When you heavily cover one crossing point, they try to shift the round. But at the same time, it wasn't infantry at that crossing point. It was dismounted cavalry, so the AI might have been taking that into account. Plus, it's higher morale. It had us by over 10 points at the start of the battle, morale-wise. So I think that might have had an effect on the AI's decision to try and force that crossing point. But also at the same time, all of its units were disrupted. It, it was probably just looking for the best option it had, and that was it. Especially because it came marching through the woods and not down the road. But uh, once again, let me know what you all think about that fight in the comments below. All right, victory at 2nd Arala. Yemen has reportedly suffered total casualties at 3,011 men. There are 475 killed and 942 captured. Our casualties total 334 men with 77 killed and 39 missing. We captured 1,397 rifles and 3 guns from the battlefield and sent 933 soldiers down to prison camps. Colonel Campbell loses face. I see one of mine or one of theirs. I should have checked my officer to see if anybody was defamed, but I didn't. So I'll go through that core real fast. All right. Normally I would end the episode right here, but I really want to make it through to April 1st and get the Spring Offensive going. I mean, we're 32 episodes in, so I really want to get this campaign moving along a little bit more. Is I'd like to have it over before the next update comes out with the uh, Whiskey and Lemons drop. So uh, we're going to keep this one rolling a bit longer. So I'll see you at the next major event. So uh, we are definitely not making it to April this episode. So we just picked up another fight at Louisville again. Oh, Lord. But uh, we're going to take this one this episode. So it really shouldn't take all that long as uh, the Army of Michigan in its first corps with 12,924 men is going after Kirby Smith with our 17,355 infantry, 2200 cavalry, and six guns. So I don't see this taking too much longer than the first battle for this episode. So I will see you all on the other side of the load screen. Welcome everybody to the Battle of 11th Louisville. Ugh. So uh, as you can see, we are on the defensive on the uh, Proud Peak map here. And the Federals are coming in from this road here, though. They can come down this road. They can come down this road over Proud Peak. They got a few approach options. I decided against trying to cover all the river crossing points. So we're defor uh, defending Jordan's Ridge back here. So I have set the core up with Lee's division right here on this road. H.R. Jackson to his right. And Cable's division defending the back approach path. And I have the... Two Cavalry Brigades, which I renamed the 1st and 2nd Tennessee Cavalry. One was just called Cavalry Brigade. The other was called Tennessee Cavalry. I just renamed them that. 
Uh, and there's also first and second Tennessee regiments, uh, first and second Tennessee brigades in the army now too. With the the brigades that weren't changing names with the commanders, I uh, just gave them some generic names. So uh, going to keep an eye on the approach pads. We're actually already starting at a minor victory, so their morale is not that good. It's uh, it's still better than ours though. It's at 48 to our 42. And ours keeps getting worse because the AI is dumping money into propaganda. Uh, I didn't put it out on the map earlier, but uh, our support in Kentucky and Missouri have dropped dramatically, well over 10 points. So uh, AI is pumping money into those uh, propaganda hits against us. So I doubt we'll ever, ever flip the two states. So... Uh, it's already 1700 so we're not going to see the Federals today. This will definitely be a day two fight, which will hopefully drop their morale much, much closer to ours. So I'll pause this here, and I'll be back once we uh, have a siding on the Federals. All right, it's uh, 0700 at day two. We do have the Federals sided. Uh, they did start, I was following their dust trails. They started up here on Proud Peak and just got down to this area. So it's still a toss-up on which way they're going to go. They're obviously not using this route. So they will either be coming down this road here. Or following along and heading down back towards Cable's division. Either way, we're not too sure as of yet. So let's actually speed this up a bit. See where they, yep, they come for this forward, which means they're coming down the road. Stone, pull back. And Milroy, pull it back. Get you boys out of there. Yep, they're coming right down this road. Thankfully, the scouts are still back here keeping sight on everything. They still might look at this division on the fence line and go up the farm track. We don't know yet. Uh, calling the scouts. Wrong brigade. They're too small for them. Well, your division commander gets back here. Yep, coming right down the road. One of the few occasions I'll play at 20 speed. All right. And yeah, their morale is not doing too hot, actually. I didn't even look at the casualties at the start of the day. And they took 80 attrition casualties. We took 94 because our morale was lower. But my brigades aren't getting ready to break yet. We're going to push your division out over here. And cable, we're going to start bringing you around towards the farm track. See if we can't get in behind them. Actually, we can just use the road to be faster than taking that farm track through the woods. So, uh, one thing I didn't discuss, after the last battle uh, with Forest Cavalry Corps, I actually had to send the whole artillery division home to refit. They were all three down to two guns each and about 20 men. So, uh, all those batteries have been sent home. And they're going to be gone for about three months. Uh, one, will be, one battery will be back after a month, but the other two are going to be gone for about 70 days. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be have some issues with Forest Corps moving forward without the artillery. But chasing down the uh, army of the board with all that artillery they have, uh, it's not really going to make much of a difference not having those guns. And I do have more artillery training for this corps as we speak. It's just going to be another uh, 30, 40 days before they're in action. Get them uh, recruited and transferred out to this corps. Are you guys going to stop and mess up? Nope. Of course they're not. Yeah, 
let's hope uh, Smith's artillery doesn't get handled too roughly as they're down to six guns and 83 men when they started with uh, 12 guns and 200 something men. And uh, the drafts did not go very far. So the first round of the drafts, you really don't get too much. It's the second round of the drafts that gives you everything. But I kind of need my finances a little bit more. If you're in a stable position, but before I do that second round of drafts, I need it a little bit more stable than it is. What is the AI doing? This is going to be short and bloody for these boys. Once Lee's division is in position, we'll start pushing it towards them. Look at all that damage already. That's got to be mostly from the artillery. Ooh. Seeing that canister goes out sends a shiver down my spine. I don't know about anybody else. Are they getting ready to pull out already? Looks like they might. That brigade's withdrawn. These are coming forward. You guys all have rifled muskets are outranging me. Sleep down. You can still fire a little bit. And Reynolds was taking care of him. Uh, first Georgia sharpshooters now. Under command of uh, now Jackson. Shoot out and get rid of that brigade. Starting this big flanking movement, and it doesn't look like it's even going to be necessary. battery but not doing too much damage stay on that brigade they're getting ready to go oh they have more coming okay and this battle's already won I can't believe these guys haven't gotten their second perk weapon yet You do lose experience with taking the losses, but we haven't taken too many losses in any of these brigades in one single fight. Yep, they were drawing. There they go. Alright, stay on them. Let's finish this off. These guys coming. <laughs> you boys are picking the wrong road to retreat down. I've only got four minutes. We're not going to catch them. Nah, this fight's over. Oh. Never mind. Right there at the end. Ah. See, that's why I, 
And as another viewer pointed out, that's why you don't play at 20 speed. Your units won't fire for some reason. All right. Still not bad. We took down 1,200 of their 12,000 infantry. Didn't see any of their guns during the fight. Uh, we lost 204 infantry, 35 cavalry. That had to be overnight attrition because they didn't fight. We're total loss of 244 of our 19,680. Just in case we get that glitch going. See how everybody did. In these division only got First Tennessee did 95 casualties. And it was HR Jacksons that did all the fighting. Uh, first Georgia Sharpshooters did 356 to infantry. Second Tennessee did 226 to infantry. Ledbetter's Brigade only did 61. And Smith's Artillery did 479. Division total of 1122. And that's all who actually fought. It was basically just that one division. Let's see if we got any other officers. It doesn't look like it. Nope. Let's get closed out of here. So uh, this is another fight I'm not going to uh, monologue an AAR on. So uh, I'll see you all at the newspaper screen. Victory at 11th Louisville. So the Army of Michigan is retreating in panic, and the enemies reportedly suffered total casualties, 1,241 men. They have 365 killed, 287 captured. Our casualties total 266 men with 24 killed, 121 missing, and the rest are wounded. We captured 585 rifles and zero guns from the battlefield and sent 301 soldiers down to our prison camps. So, uh, didn't take out any officers, doesn't look like we defamed anybody. That's a shame. So let's get this one rolled off real fast here. There we go. And I think that'll be it for this episode. I was really hoping to make it through to uh, April 1st, but the uh, Federal AI has other plans for us, apparently. And we're not going to be able to do that. Actually, I got to start ordering force chase down what's left of this army over here. Uh, you know what? We already moved back into winter quarters. I'll let them sit. Wait for that to finish up. So, uh, yeah, I, we still got 11 days left in the month, so I don't think, uh, it's probably another episode or two before we actually make it through to the start of our offensive. Of course, it's got a flag here. What should we give him? Uh, da, 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 da. You know, I'm kind of partial to this one, but a little flamboyant. go with that one all right so uh if you're a new viewer return of viewer, if you're not yet subscribed please think about hitting that subscribe button if you do remember hit that bell icon so that the next video comes out if like a brigade in one of my armies please let me know in the comments below type of unit states from weapons uniforms officers i'll oblige on all counts if possible and once again comments 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 as always please do keep them coming and i will see you all at the next episode stay grumpy